Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, this is not related to a specific gun, um, it's just a bit of an overall uh, state of the channel video, as some other people are posting them actually at the moment, so I thought it was cool to do the same. I will look back a little bit over the video activity and what's uh, up to come in 2019 um, from a personal and professional uh, perspective. So, so far, um, if you watch my channel regularly, I just pretty much post videos on guns. I do some sort of tabletop reviews, um, if you can call them like this. Um, every now and then I post some shooting footage, although that's more the exception um, as a rule. Um, over the last two or three years, I have bought and sold um, a lot of interesting guns. Um, as of 2019, I have um, actually sold from my collection the Colt SP-1, the FAMAS, which I had, uh, the SIG 553, as well as the MR-223 uh, in FD. Why would I want to sell these awesome guns? Um, actually, the FAMAS and the Colt uh, found some new owners, which I appreciate um, them for what they are and were, in, and were just willing to pay the right price for them. Um, you know, I have a lot of requests from some cheap ass people to buy guns for like a thousand bucks it was really people that understood the value of these guns um, so I was happy to sell them um, the 553 I sold because I bought the long barrel version with some extra attachments which was fucking expensive so I just that was near financial reasons and um, I sold the MR223 in FD just because I bought another MR223 uh, the French version, and I also because I own the HK416, so I've also here probably partly financial reasons. I was able to sell it for a fair price to a cool guy, um, which is enjoying it more than I did. So totally fair. Um, have fun with that. Um, I had a bit of nostalgia when I sold it, but nevertheless. I'm not going to the range that often, so it's not like even I can really miss it out a lot in operational terms. Uh, and it's not like I do not have enough piston guns uh, to shoot. So, looking back, I did a lot of tabletops. Probably I'm running out of guns in general to review. Um, There's probably some more comparison that I can make. Uh, maybe this gun versus the other gun. But essentially what is needed for that is fucking range time, which I lack a lot. Uh, why? Um, well, one thing is uh, fucking professional um, problems. Well, problems. I work in consulting and I'm traveling quite a lot uh, or doing bizarre stuff at the office a lot of time. Uh, so when I'm home on weekend, many things to catch up, as you probably know. Um, my wife also takes uh, away a significant part of my spare time, rightfully, I have to say. Um, that doesn't leave a lot of time for doing reviews on guns um, that I need to shoot. Do going to the range requires uh, probably assembling a couple of people uh, to rent like the, um, the little combat uh, area, what's it called, I don't know. Um, I just don't like shooting at uh, just the single target lanes. Um, so I need to find a couple of bodies that would come along, bring some guns. Um, so doing the booking, arranging the stuff with my friends, actually logistical issues with arranging all the guns, putting them in the car, traveling, ammunition, coming back, so for every hour at the range there's probably half an hour or more time into organization, so half an hour, actually half a day shooting uh, requires a lot of work to begin with. Uh, it's not like you can just go spontaneously to any range, um, Many times they're booked out, many times they don't have time when you want to go, so it's postponed many weeks until you can get all the people on board. Um, stuff you probably know, so that's why pretty much I don't get that much range time as I should, and I'm not able to produce cool footage that probably you would like to see. Um, some guns that I own, I'm pretty sure that they are quite unique on the YouTube um, landscape, like the original Scar L. Um, G36C, also you don't see that often, 
416, January 416 also, uh, not easily seen, all the Sikh family, is also something that I think people would find cool to see uh, how it stacks up against other guns like uh, marketings and stuff that are more mainstream on YouTube. So there's some potential there, I just don't have the fucking time, um, some of the time I'm too lazy, um, some of the time I'm traveling uh, for personal reasons, for family reasons. So in 2019 it's gonna be tough, um, but I have this in my mind since a long time, and it's on the agenda, it's just difficult. And also when you go to the range um, and you have to film footage, it takes away some of the fun aspects of just shooting random stuff or doing some drills because you have to think about camera, uh, you have to think about who wants to be on camera, who does not want to be on camera, who's filming, where do you play stuff, so it's to in order to offer some production value you also have to put some brains into it and um, when I'm just going to the range shooting and having some beers sometimes I just want to have fun and I'm not interested in having more work time while I'm having fun so to speak I'm sure you can understand that you can relate to this um, moreover 2019 um, we will surely get our daughter my wife and I and my wife is pregnant so um, we'll have a daughter soon I was told that that brings in some other challenges uh, especially with regard to time management and spare time so I'm not really sure how that will impact into future video and footage output uh, it probably negatively affects uh, the latter therefore it's gonna be quite tough uh, I guess um, one thing that I want to do more though is do some more footage on other stuff um, that's more easily produced um, I'm not too sure if that's gonna work, but I plan to do some more footage on, on cars and stuff with also some friends. Um, it's in its early stages where just uh, tr conceptual... How do you say? We're in the early stages of um, put drafting together a concept for uh, what kind of video format it should be, frequency, content, direction, um, audience. Um, why cars? Uh, well, cars is my second passion, um, and it's just more easily produced. You can just, if you want to, just go out and drive, do a review on the car or some cars, on uh, do some interviews with of some special models. It's just probably easier to arrange, uh, and there's less hassle. Like you can do stuff more spontaneously, probably, as opposed with guns. I cannot just take the guns and go shoot in the mountains here or in the woods. Because people will not like that. The police will not like it either. But I can just take the car and drive along and just uh, do like some little uh, logs, blogs, vlogs, or whatever they call on the car. So that's something where I may push a little bit more um, this year. As far as gun are concerned, new gun purchases. Um, I don't have any specific lined up yet uh, in 2019. Pretty much all the cool guns that I can think of, I already have them. Um, more money to spend on guns is going to be critical. I don't know if you're aware of the fact that, I mean, I'm not like fucking Dan Bilzerian who's shitting money. Um, I actually need to work for the money and get any <laughs> income out of video footage or any sponsoring for guns. So you just hard earned money where I pay taxes on that goes into buying this shit. And with my wife, with my baby coming, it's just gonna be more trade offs. So let's see. Maybe I should ask my boss for more money. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, so yeah, I hope it was not too boring. I was, I'm was, i still playing around with my 416 in this video. Um, now that I have the SIG 553, I'm not using, I'm not playing with the 416 any longer. I have shot it, um, the upper receiver, every now and then. Feels cool knowing that it's a 416, uh, but I cannot shoot it full auto. So I, I normally shoot it with another lower receiver, just to avoid uh, having to go through a paperwork of being able to shoot a fucking full auto, even in semi-auto, which is it's kind of a bizarre concept to understand. Uh, so I shot the 416. Um, it feels like the normal MR223, but just cooler knowing that it's a 416, even though 99.9% .9 of the range do not understand this. And yeah, um, if you have some ideas, or if you live in Switzerland and have some proposition on maybe joint footage or some partnerships, um, hit me up in the comments I think that could be something cool there is some people producing nice stuff on Instagram 
in Switzerland uh, that have cool guns. Would be cool to maybe do a little partnership. I'm open to that. Um, maybe like a guns and coffee session, so to speak, where we just talk guns and have a coffee. Uh, I said it's just something uh, more spontaneous, okay, that can be arranged spontaneously as opposed to fucking range trips, which have bring all the hassle of logistics and eventually paperwork if you want to shoot full auto. Um, yeah, without further ado, um, wish you a nice 2019 with a lot of guns and money and talk soon.